Hi everyone, I'm Chelsea from Twinkle and in the next three minutes I'm going to show you five ways you could use Twinkle science experiments and activities. Let's go! First, choose a low risk, low prep science activity card. Then, no explanation from you, just give each pair a copy of the instructions and let them have a go. A great alternative to recipes and with much less mess. Could they explore strategies to make sure they don't make mistakes, such as ticking off as they go along or annotating keywords? Instead of fruit salads, your learners could be making a rain cloud in a jar or growing rainbows. If it all goes wrong, well that's how we learn. Ask them to reflect, spot the moment where it went wrong and what they would do better next time. You can build their independence in a safe, fun way whilst also showing them that not all instructions are recipes. Always ask learners to start a science experiment with a prediction. These cards are great because you can show the learners the method so they can visualise the experiment they will be doing, then they can start to hypothesise and build predictions. A great way to elevate children's predictions is to provide model predictions for them to agree or disagree with. Give them time to consider each alternative prediction, pair this with partner talk and class discussions, and their written predictions will be high quality and detailed. The Twinkle Science activities are also great written examples and could be used as waggles for instruction writing. Learners could highlight key features of instruction writing, such as you will need lists, or identify spag features suitable for instructions, such as imperative verbs and adverbs of time. Most of the Twinkle science activity sheets have the results table as either a separate document or on a different piece of paper. This gives you the flexibility to decide whether you would like to share it with the learners or challenge them to create their own way of recording their results. If they are not successful, reflect on this at the end. Let them discover why it is important to record results clearly, developing a key scientific skill whilst also building their independence. The whole class doesn't need to do the same science activity. Twinkle has such a wide variety of low-risk experiments that with older learners you could put them into teams and distribute a different activity per group. Give children the time to plan, complete and present their results to create a display. Alternatively, you could present them on huge sheets of paper and hang them around the class on washing lines to create an exhibition. You could even hold a science fair and invite other classes to come and look at your science exhibitions. Your learners could even discuss their new discoveries with their peers and inspire a real love of science in the school. Twinkle has a huge variety of different science activities to try. Some are fair tests and investigations, while others aim to inspire the awe and wonder of science. With child-friendly instructions and sensible resource lists you will be able to rustle up from the kitchen cupboard and school resources, they are ready to pick up and use. I hope I've shared some ideas for you to squeeze all of the potential learning out of them. Enjoy!